What's going on YouTube? Andrew with Black Hat Vapor here to talk to you about Subm tanks. Uh, we've done a few different reviews in the past, uh, one of them being on the Atlantis, and that's where I'd like to start at tonight. I'm going to talk about a few others, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So the Atlantis, this guy right here, um, came out on the on the market quite a while back now. Um, there's been several, if not tens, maybe even twenties by now, uh, different sub M tank designs. This one being one of the pioneers in that field. Um, it definitely did a lot of good things for the, the industry, um, being that it opened up a sub M tank market. Um, that being said, there's a lot of really cool features with this. One of them being, it, it came showcasing a two mil capacity. Um, sub M coils, 0.5 ohm to be exact actually. Um, was capable of firing anywhere between, uh, I want to say 15 and 30 watts as claimed per coil. However, me personally, I never got past like 25 without getting a dry hit, which was really unpleasant. Um, got an airflow dial on the bottom of the base here, which I th there's four settings, four settings. One being as wide as you see here, that's maxed out, that's open as far as it goes. Removable drip tip, usual, you know, stainless steel, Pyrex glass. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it was a good tank for when it came out, but I just feel like there's, you know, there's a lot better out now. So moving on, we'll go to the next one. All right, so now we've got the Kanger Subtank Mini. Um, some decent things about this guy. Um, comes organic cotton whipped in the coils. It's a 4.5 mil capacity tank, which is pretty monstrous for a sub ohm tank. And it's what a lot of people are asking for as these things do burn through some juice. Um, it's also showcasing a square design coil, which is unique. Um, Airflow is similar to the Atlantis with one less option. It's three way adjustability. Um, you can see here, this being the widest open, just like the Atlantis. Construction is very similar too. Um, I like the way it looks. Uh, it doesn't necessarily vape as well as I want it to, and again, it's 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 slightly older as far as technology goes when it comes to sub ohm tanks. Um, I tried to get the 30 watts that they claim out of the 0.5 ohm coils. I only managed to get 25 without getting a dry hit. So I mean, that being said, it's it's a solid tank for somebody that's just stepping into them, similar to the Atlantis. Like I said, perfect for somebody maybe coming off of a standard clearizer with a 1.8 ohm coil, a single coil, or even one of the Spire's uh, bottom vertical coils. So, that being said, it's not for me, but it's definitely good for other people out there. So moving on over, we're going to talk about the Arctic. This guy, uh, showcasing a 2.5 mil capacity, uh, very similar in construction again. You got the usual stainless steel uh, Pyrex glass. Um, the coils, however, are the kicker on this guy as they're wicked with organic cotton. And they're also coming in a lot of different variations. Um, most of the time, these guys are coming with a 0.5 ohm coil. Um, the 0.5, their efficiency range, if you will, is between 30 and 80 watts. And at 80 watts, I gotta tell you, it still holds up. It can be fired at that and it can handle it. The 0.2 ohm coils now uh, can be fired all the way up to 100 watts and it'll definitely handle it with ease. Not gonna get a dry hit, at least I haven't experienced it. You may, may or not, I don't know. Um, but personally, I think it's a great tank. You've got four-way adjustable airflow here. Um, you can close it off. I like mine wide open again because I'm just a really big hog for vapor. I drip a lot, so... But this guy's definitely good, man. It holds up well. And that's pretty much it for this one. Now we're going to talk about the Star by, <laughs> by Freemax. This was actually supposed to be my Magnus if you will, but uh, due to a coworker's error, this is what I got. So anyways, not to discredit him, and I'm not gonna list off any names, throw anybody under the bus, I don't wanna make anybody lose their job, you know, I'm not about that. Anyways, this guy's got a massive five mil capacity, which I really do dig. Um, it's got some really beefy airflow, two way, and again, it's, it's wide open. And I do like how this guy kinda like notches into place so it gives you a, a solid feel on where it's going to lock, and you got a lot of airflow. It's definitely nice for that. Um, the coils are very similar to the Arctic. However, um, I believe they come 0.5 or 0.2. The 0.5s, uh, their max efficiency range is 60 watts. I made the mistake earlier today of cranking it to about 80, and I did get one or two hits before I started getting dry on it, which again, man, that many, that many watts pushing any kind of coil, not very fun. If you've never done it, don't try it, because it, uh, not good, man. I'm gonna blow your throat out. So, anyways, this guy's definitely a good tank. 
Um, they're all very similar in price range, so I mean, that's not really anything to worry about. It's more about personal preference when it comes to sub-ohm tanks, as they're really, at this point in this, the game, they're all similar. And that being said, it's all about what you personally want. If you like more airflow, you find a certain tank that has, you know, maximum airflow, which this star definitely holds up to that. Um, again, the Arctic does too, though. So, I mean, it's, it's really just about personal preference. It might even just be looks for some of you, you know? Like, some people like to accessorize and match up what they're using, you know, with their boxes or whatever mechanical you may be using, you know? Granted, don't use a hybrid with these guys, because I just don't recommend it. But that's about it for the star. All right, so we're going to wrap things up, and I'm going to let you know that my, on my personal preference and my own personal review on these guys, um, coming in last place, I'm going to have to definitely point out that the Atlantis by Aspire is just, it's dated technology at this point. Sorry to say it, but there's just much better out now. Aspire did their thing, and I mean, they hit the, they hit the market as a pioneer in, in that and they really did as far as sub M tanks. And we got to thank them for that because they really opened up the market to all these other guys to come out and flood it out. Unfortunately, they're making money off Aspire's design, but you can't really blame them for that. You know, that's just business. Um, and next up, the Kanger. Again, it's just like, you know, same thing. For me, it's not enough airflow. And again, it's just older technology. You've got so many other options now, and it's just really not cutting it in, in terms of vapor production, everything else you need. But I mean, again, for some people, it's still a good tank. I know a lot of people that use it. I've got a lot of customers that even come in. And they love this thing. Um, moving on, we've got the star coming in at second. I mean, the star, I'm only going to say it's second place. It's very similar to the Arctic. However, I can't push it to the power levels I personally like. And that's why it's coming in third. So again, it's just a personal preference thing. Nothing against it. It's a great tank. Uh, good price point on it. Very well constructed. I like it. Um, looks good. A little bit big for me too. I mean, the five mil capacity is nice, especially when you're considering sub I mean, You're burning through juice a lot. So it is really good that it has such a big capacity. But in my opinion, for me, it's a little too big. The Arctic, again, like I said, man, this guy, it really just does it for me, you know? And I'm going to show you guys a little bit real quick. And get a, let me get a vape off this. So because I can, I'm going to fire the sucker at 80 watts. Normally I don't do it, but why not? Sorry, lost you guys there. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, that's my review on these guys. I'm Andrew with Black Hat. Thanks everybody for watching. Enjoy your day.